guys, so today I'm going to be answering some questions. I have them here in a cup, so let's get started. Okay, first question. If you could meet any three people, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? Um, okay, Betty White. I would have loved to meet her. I was so sad when she passed. She was an amazing person and touched so many different people. Um, and she also had a heart for animals. And the way I have a heart for animals, I love animals so much and I know she did too. Um, and I also grew up watching her with my grandmother on Golden Girls. Um, she was one of my favorite characters. She's hilarious. Um, so definitely her. Ariana Grande. Who doesn't love Ariana Grande? She seems so fun. Um, and Justin Bieber, he seems super grounded and I feel like he would be super cool to hang out with. So yeah, probably, probably even three. Okay, next question. What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? Um, I'm super shy at first. It takes me a second to get to know, like, yeah, it takes me a second to get, like, used to you. Um, but I do open up. It's just like, I don't know, I've just always been that way. I always am shy at first. I guess just, I want to get to know you first before I just like start being myself, I guess. I don't know. I've just always been that way. A lot of people on social media think I would be like super intimidating and like over the top dramatic and stuff, but I'm not. I'm super like calm usually. Okay, next question. Which one of your accomplishments are you most proudest of? Um, definitely like doing music i never thought that i would be confident enough with my voice to do music but then i started taking voice lessons and i just always loved music and i'm getting into writing so probably my music and also just of how far i've came on social media um so yeah definitely that what would be one superpower you would choose have um flying i've always wanted to be able to fly i just find it like if I had that superpower, like that would be so cool. I could just walk outside and just fly. That would be so cool. So yeah, probably to fly. I've always wanted, I've always been fascinated with like birds and stuff and I would just love to fly. What is your biggest pet peeve? When I'm in my room, my door shut and somebody comes in here and doesn't close the door back and they just leave it cracked. I don't know, it just really sets me off edge. Um, so probably that, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, if I had a second one, it would be, I feel like a lot of people have this when you have socks on and then you step in like something wet. I don't know, those are my two. <laughs> have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? Not like seriously, but it has obviously crossed my mind. I feel like it's crossed everybody's mind that's on social media before. Um, just wondering like, where would I be if I wasn't on social media or when you have like those breakdown days where you're just like, I don't want to do this anymore. But it only, for me, it only lasts for like a split second because I love social media and I always want to be able to do it unless something stops me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it has crossed my mind, but not often. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? <laughs> okay, wait, I actually have a really good story for you guys. Um, we were in a parking garage, we are coming out of the mall and there was two Jeeps, my mom has a Jeep, and I was on FaceTime with one of my friends and I wasn't paying attention. I was walking with my family and they were walking the same direction as me, but I wasn't paying attention and I saw the Jeep and I was like, oh, okay, so I'm just gonna go to the door. The door was unlocked and it, there was a stranger in their car. This wasn't our car, guys. I sat in somebody, like a stranger's car. It was unlocked, they were in there, everything. The full experience. It was not pleasant. It was, I was scared. I was sitting there and I looked up and it was somebody I didn't know. I was terrified. It was great. <laughs> it was definitely one of my most embarrassing moments. If you had to describe yourself in four words, what would they be? Four words? Chaotic, awkward, shy, and creative. Yeah, creative. I feel like those are like four good words to, ex to explain myself. Okay, um, if you could travel anywhere, where would you choose? Definitely Bora Bora. My top three places are Paris, Dubai, and Bora Bora, but Bora Bora is like that first one. Um, I don't know. I just, I'd like the tiki like places that you can stay like over the water with the clear floor. Like that just seems so cool. And yeah, it's probably my top place to go. 
Who are your role models? Sabrina Carpenter, Tate McRae, and Natalie Portman. Those are my three. What advice would you give your past self? Um, when I first started social media, like I said kind of earlier, I wasn't as confident. Um, so definitely to be more confident in myself and to just be myself and be creative. I feel like I kind of put myself to only trends that other people were doing and not doing my own thing, which I do now. Um, and yeah, so probably just to be more confident and set more higher standards. What is your favorite holiday? Okay, hands down, duh, Christmas. Christmas is like an entire month, literally. It's like a long lasting holiday to me. And just the fact that like all the stores come out with Christmas and the holiday like things and Starbucks too. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with Starbucks. So I love Christmas time. But last question, what are your favorite movies all time? Okay, definitely Mamma Mia, Purge, all the Purge movies, scary movies. I love scary movies and Strangers. Um, I do love Mamma Mia though. It's probably my favorite because I've watched it ever since I was like four or five um, with my mom. So it brings back a lot of a lot of good memories. So definitely those. Well, that was all of the questions, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.